My dear brothers and sisters in faith, today we will share an extraordinary new message from God the Father to humanity through the Catholic visionary Miriam Corsini of Italy. First and foremost, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our Moment in Christ channel. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a like and share it with your family and friends. This way, we can help awaken conversion and souls. Let us now pray for the Holy Spirit to grant us discernment of these messages. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who instruct the hearts of your faithful with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that we may correctly understand all things according to the same Spirit and enjoy His consolation. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. God the Father begins His message by saying, My beloved people, awaken from the sleep that surrounds you. Hear the cry of salvation from your Father. Though the earth is shrouded in darkness, you, the people of God, are safe in the loving hands of your Creator. While the wicked will be consumed by evil, my holy people will find protection in me. My children, the battle is intensifying. Prepare yourselves to face the most challenging trials, for Satan is at his most perverse, desiring the ruin of humanity and the earth. Know that Archangel Saint Michael and his heavenly armies stand ready to intervene in the four corners of the world. I will never forsake you, my people. My arms are extended to you. Welcome you, keep you close to my heart, and share all that I am with you. Be strong and keep your faith. Awaken, my children. Know that the time for those who resist me is running out. The decisive moment is near. Soon, I will gather my children in safe refuges. The earth trembles, volcanoes erupt, rivers overflow, seas rise, and mountains crumble. The very earth is disintegrating, disturbed by evil. It reflects the birth pangs. My children, consecrate yourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, seek protection, for she will enfold you in her mantle. Most Holy Mary is in her final intervention. She has prepared her army on earth, and with it, she will defeat Satan. Here are the children of Mary. Contemplate the power of Mary, who will crush the ancient serpent. Chosen individually and strengthened by their love for Christ Jesus, these children will march alongside the Most Holy Virgin with unsheathed swords. They will proclaim the victory of Christ the Lord. They will bear the seal of love on their foreheads and chests, repelling demons, healing the sick, and converting souls. My children, the time has come. Destruction is underway, trying to pull you away from me. Stay sound, united with your Creator. Embrace His will, walk in obedience to His commandments. The Most Holy Trinity, together with Most Holy Mary, warns your beloved people of the end of a time dominated by sin and the arrival of a new era. Be strong, my children. The Father's judgment will fall upon the wicked, and iniquity will be overthrown. Amen. My dear brothers, we are sailing through unprecedented times of tribulation, where creation itself groans under the weight of spiritual battle, reflecting the birth pangs mentioned in the Bible. Instability is manifesting not only in our spiritual sphere but also physically in our land, erupting volcanoes, roaring seas, and trembling earth beneath our feet. It is a divine call to prepare ourselves, not only in spirit but in resources and refuge. In clear responses from heaven, it is essential to begin establishing and identifying safe refuges, blessed places prepared with the physical and spiritual resources needed. These refuges will serve not only as shelters against physical adversities but also as centers of unwavering faith, where brotherhood strengthens our hope and resilience. If you have the capability, consider turning your home into a refuge or collaborate with your parish and community to establish one. Deepen your devotion with the daily Holy Rosary. In refuges, as in our hearts, the Holy Rosary should resound as a constant cry of faith. This powerful act of devotion is our stronghold against the intensification of evil surrounding us. Commit to this daily practice now, strengthening your soul and the community around you. Store essential food and resources. Physical preparedness is an act of Christian charity. By gathering food and essential resources, we will be ready not only to sustain our families but also to assist other people in need. Transform your refuge into a beacon of hope for the less fortunate. Together, under the protection of Mary and divine guidance, we will stand firm and unshaken against the approaching storms. With the arrival of October, we see more challenges and tribulation intensifying. In these challenging times, as we navigate the turbulent sea of life, let us remember the message of hope, faith, and strength that we shared today. Just as the earth may quake and the world may seem in darkness, we find solace in our unwavering faith. 
As we face the approaching storms, let us unite in prayer and solidarity. We invite you to join our Moment in Christ channel, where we continue to explore the depths of faith and share messages of inspiration and guidance. If you have found comfort and inspiration in this message, please kindly subscribe to our channel, share this video with your family and friends, and leave a like to show your support. May the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ and the intercession of our Most Holy Mother, Mary, always be with you. Together, we will remain strong and unshaken in our faith and be a beacon of hope for those in need. Thank you for being part of our faith community. God bless you abundantly. Amen.